Okay, I'm getting ready to open the box of my uh, WS2902 Wi-Fi Osprey solar-powered wireless weather station. A lot to say. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this is what it looks like once you've taken off all of that plastic. This is the uh, display. Of course, you can see the rain sensor here. Measure, measure solar radiation. The, uh, okay, this, uh, this is going to go here, obviously. Collect the rain. And this anemometer is going to attach here. Alright, I've taken everything out of the container here and uh, have it laid out pretty much where things should go. This will probably go here. I'm not sure which, if there's a side, I'd have to read up to see if this goes here or here. Okay, let's flip it over. And you see the mount here? And it mounts a top on top of a pole and mount it. Okay, so there we go. And of course, we have some power supply. I've forgotten about that. Probably for this. One of the uh, display. First thing I decided to do was put this on. And, uh, it sits right here and it directs the rain into here. <laughs> okay. There it is, lined up. Alright, I'm not sure which side the wind vane goes on. Because, I mean, it could go on either side, you know, this could go on that side and vice versa. So I'm going to take a look at the manual. All right, it appears that it's on the uh, right side here facing the Y uh, section here. And there's this little thing here, so I'm going to do the same thing on my. So looking at the diagram here and looking at the actual thing, I see this is here, so I'm going to put it right here. It does help to have a selection of tiny screwdrivers. If you look at the mount, this part here, you can see that it's flattened here. Okay, so when you get it on, at first it might not go all the way, so what you have to do is loosen up the screw so that it fits. All right, so you just tighten it up. You don't want to over tighten it. And there you go. Let's see if I got it or not. We got where it won't pull off. Attach the wind speed. First of all, I want to loosen up the screw so that I can fit it onto the shaft. Tighten it up, not too tight, but just enough to keep it. Make sure it doesn't uh, come off. You know? I think that's going to stay on even in a hurricane. <laughs> so basically, that's pretty much all you have to do is, is this part here for assembly. One, two, three. And then you're ready to go. You have your uh, entire weather station right here. And the next thing you need to do is find a pole or a pipe. They have tools. I got a new drill here and my daddy's old level here. So I took this old pole I found in the yard. And here are my two inch straps. Here and here. Looks like it's a little smaller. I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> Neither of these wrenches work so here I found something that works. It's a 10 millimeter. And I just Put it on there and just tighten up all the way around like that. Ten millimeter. Works fine. Okay, I have the unit on top of the pole. But there's something I forgot right here. I went out and bought some rechargeable batteries, so I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to take these Duracells out and put some rechargeable batteries in. Alright, so this is what I'm going to put in there. This, this is what they want you to put in there, so I will. Yeah, make sure you put it in. See the little light comes on. You got positive here and the positive here. See? So you want to mix that up. You're going to have the positive there and the positive. And you mix it up, you're just going to mess up your stuff. And then you just have to cry and that'll be all there is to it. Okay, so I'm going to cover it up and go outside and put it on. Put it up in the sky. Mount it. Check it out. The problem with having that little bubble on the top because once you put it up, you can't see the bubble unless you get a gigantic ladder and climb up and look down on it. Right beneath the uh, solar sensor, you know, for solar radiation, there's a little arrow going down there that says north. So you want to make sure that this part here where the rain falls is aimed to the north. So 
So I see I had it up there and it's aimed toward the north, which is that way. You see it's kind of loose here. So I can kind of shim that, you know, put pieces in there and there until I get it situated. Oh, this nice looking little station is light. Very light, easy to handle. All right, see that? Level. And how I did that, I used some uh, pieces of wood and some popsicle sticks that I had lying around. So that should hold it level and it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't move. Right, it's looking pretty good except that perhaps maybe a little bit to the left there. I did a little off. I had to adjust that down here. Shut up, dog. <laughs> I'm making a video. So as you can see, there yeah, it's nice. Sky in the background. Talk about the weather, man. I got two weather stations right here on the fence line. Got my old stand by here that's been up there since 1210. Going on seven years. Still holding in there. Still giving good reading. That's my WS20. Okay, I have the console right by my bedside. And I can see everything at a glance. So it's very convenient. It's not that very large, you see. Didn't take up much space. Set it right by the bedside and take a glance and see what's going on outside. We have really the set nice. button and uh, pretty much it's already set. But there you would press, press it and you could change it to beep and then you can set the daylight savings time, the uh, zone here, uh, 12 hour, 24 hour, the time. And there you go, uh, month, day. Yeah, so you can pretty much set everything, but I already have it set, so uh, I'm going to just, uh, just hit it and go through everything here, and there you see it, it's already set. Temperature, uh, here we have the wind chill, but there's no wind chill. The dew point is 53.6, no heat index, and then back to temperature. Rain, we did have some rain today, so down here, the rain here, uh, there was an event, 0 0.910 inches for the day, and uh, further for the week, month, and the total rain that we've had. Okay, let's set it back. The wind, right here, there's the gusts, uh, wind direction in degrees of compass uh, direction, 331 degrees, the wind speed, gust, and then back. And I leave it there. The pressure you have, the average for 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. And the current pressure, 29.84. There's an alarm, I'm not going to mess with that. Maximum, minimum, there you, you see, there you see the maximum, the high was 78. And inside, it got up to 80 degrees in here. Wow. Uh, rain rate per hour was 0.35, so it was coming down. And here we have our minimums. It got down to 52.5 degrees outside, and inside it got down to 73, and the pressure was down to 29.0. All right, and the nice feature here is this one right Let me get this back. Okay, this is the current, uh, all the current readings. Now, at night, I can... Uh, you know, dim it, and then when I'm ready to uh, turn the light out and go to sleep, I just cut it off. That is really nice. So it's a real nice look, and you turn it on in the morning, and there you are. It's very attractive. It's very easy to use. Uh, okay, there's something I overlooked. You you also have the phases of the moon here, you see, and uh, they display across here, and this, I suppose, is what the weather is going to forecast to be partly cloudy or partly sunny here. So a couple of things I missed. The faces of the moon and forecast. Okay, I'm getting ready to open the box of my uh, WS2902 Wi-Fi Osprey solar-powered wireless weather station. A lot to say. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, this is what it looks like once you've taken off all of that plastic. This is the uh, display. Of course, you can see the rain sensor here. 
measure, measure solar radiation. The, uh, okay, this uh, this is gonna go here, obviously. Collect the rain. And this anemometer is gonna attach here. All right, I'm taking everything out of the container here and uh, have it laid out pretty much where things should go. This will probably go here. I'm not sure which, if there's a side, I'd have to.